your vid, Zero and Zero, back here with another tipping video today, and this is my round 12 NRL tips for the 2021 uh, NRL season, so obviously this week it's Indigenous round, so uh, yeah, pretty special round for many um, of our Indigenous community that um, <clears throat> are involved in the NRL, and you know, obviously we've got a lot of Indigenous uh, players uh, in the game, so it's a very special round for them, and um, yeah, overall it's a pretty... Uh, pretty special round for everyone. I think it's always been a, it's always been good the indigenous rounds, so I'm looking forward to it. And um, especially the games coming up this weekend. So it all kicks off at Suncorp Stadium between the Broncos and the Storm. So the ins and outs of the Broncos: uh, Tyson Gamble and and uh, Matt Lodge are both out due to suspensions. So uh, replacing uh, Tyson Gamble in the halves is Anthony Mulford who gets re recalled from the uh, reserves, and then replacing Matt Lodge at prop it's Reese Kennedy. And replacing Reese Kennedy off the bench, it's uh, T.C. Rabati who will make his NRL debut. Uh, for the Storm, uh, looks like they've got no changes apart from Jerome Hughes replacing Shubert Johns in the halves. And um, and that seems to be it for the uh, Storm, so no changes apart from that. Uh, in this game, I reckon the Storm will be a lot way too good for the Broncos. I mean, even though Broncos did upset the Roosters last week, which was amazing, but I think the Storm will be way too strong at Suncorp. Plus, the Storm's record at Suncorp is absolutely mental. So, yeah, Storm should win 32 points to 6 in tipping. <clears throat> and uh, now, Friday Friday footy, it kicks off between the Cowboys and the Warriors at 6pm uh, at Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. So the ins and outs of the Cowboys, so obviously Connor Lee Lee will be out because of um, a uh, fractured thumb, I'm pretty sure. So that's why Hamisa Tabuai Fidel will replace him in the centres. And um, Jason Tamalolo is also out because of suspension, I'm pretty sure. So he gets replaced by Colin Hess at lock. And uh, Francis Muller and Lachlan Burr both out, so replacing them off the bench. It's Peter Holler and Corey Jensen. And now the ins and outs for the Warriors. Um, it looks like Edward Cossey is dropped dropped out, but he didn't play last week anyway, so it doesn't matter. But the rest of the team seems to be the same for the Warriors, except Reese Walsh starts at fullback this time, which is good to see in the RTS on the wing. Um, in this game, I have tipped the Warriors to win. Now, this was tough. This was tough to tip because I to, I I actually flipped the coin, like I flipped the a twenty cent coin, and um, on one side I had heads, and heads was the Cowboys, tails was the was the Warriors, so I flipped it. And I got the Warriors, so that's why I'm tipping them. But also because there's no Tamalolo, and and we've we've seen what Cowboys are like without Tamalolo, not not fantastic. But I could be wrong. But we'll be tipping the Warriors to win in a high scoring game, 28 points to 24 in Townsville. So Warriors to win, in my opinion. Now the next game to end off Friday night footy, it's the Tigers and the Dragons at Bankwest Stadium in Sydney, and kickoffs at 7:55 p.m. So the ins and outs for the Tigers, so. Uh, Joey Lelou is out and replacing him in the back line. It's James Roberts on who plays on the wing and Tommy Tillow shifts to the centres. And the rest of the team seems to be the same for the Tigers. Um, for the Dragons, uh, Jared Beal will play his first game for the Dragons in like six years. But first game back in the NRL for like two years, I think, since 2019 when he was at the Warriors. So he's back, Jared Beal in the centres. And... Um, Josh Kerr is also out, so replacing Josh Kerr, it is Tarek Sims who returns from suspension. And um, the rest of the team seems to be the same for the Dragons, can't see any, any other changes. Uh, in this game, I will be tipping, tipping the Tigers. I think Tigers have a look a stronger team, sort of. I mean, I, I could be wrong with that, because both teams... Well, Dragons have a pretty weak team, to be fair, because they're missing players. But I think Tigers... I don't know, I think they'll just win off the back of Dan Laurie, Adam Dilby and those sort of players. I think they'll be a little bit too strong for the Tigers, I think, off the Dragons, sorry. Because I think Tigers will be, Tigers will be desperate, surely. I think they, they beat Dragons last time, but I, I think Tigers will be a little bit too good for the Dragons uh, on Friday. So Tigers to win, 22 points to 14. Now, Super Saturday kicks off with the game of the round, and I'm joking. It's the Panthers and the Bulldogs at Blue Bet Stadium. Um, ins and outs for the Panthers, uh, looks like Kurt Capel's out, so replacing Kurt Capel. In the back row, it's Liam Martin, and, and, re and replacing Liam Martin off, off the bench, it is Spencer Lanou. For the Bulldogs, i got a couple of changes, uh, looks like Josh Jackson, Jack Hetherington are both back, so Jackson at lock, Hetherington at prop, and, um, and it looks like Joe Simpson joins the bench with Chris Smith, and Katoa, Sian Katoa suspended, and Corey Riddell and Renoff Atoni both have been dropped by the Bulldogs this week. Doesn't matter, because in, in this game, Panthers will win easy. I reckon Panthers will win 48 points to 10, or it could be 69 plus, honestly. That's what I think this, it could be. It could be 69 plus, or it could be just 48 to 10, but we'll be tipping the uh, Panthers to win 48 points to 10, 
uh, on Saturday. Now, the second game, it's the Rabbitohs and the Eels at 5.30pm at Stadium Australia. Uh, so, ins and outs to the Rabbitohs. Looks like Josh Mansell's out and replacing Josh Mansell on the wing. It's Tane Mewen. And uh, Jed Cartwright's also dropped the other team, so replacing um, Jed Cartwright, it is Harme Sele. And, um, and for the Eels, uh, yeah, and Cameron Murray's back for the uh, Rabbitohs, which is a big um, in for them. And for the Eels, Wagga Blake is still there, which I know some Param Parramatta fans will be fuming about. But um, yeah, Regan Campbell Gillard's out because of suspension, and replacing uh, Campbell Gillard at prop, it's Oregon Kafusi. And replacing Oregon Kafusi off the bench, it's Murata Niakore. Uh, in this game, look, I don't know who to tick because both teams are in a bit of uh, tipsy form at the moment. I will tip the Eels because I'm, I trust them a little bit more because, I don't know, I think Eels, they've got a stronger sort of team. I don't, I don't know, but I think um, South still be in the game, but I reckon Eagles will win off the back of a, better, a much improved performance by Moses and Gufferson. And, uh, look, I just think that Eels, they're in better form. I mean, both teams are in tipsy form, like I said, but I think Eels are in the better better position at the moment than what Seahawks are, but I could be definitely wrong on Saturday, but I will be tipping the Eels to win 24 points to 16. Now, the last game of Super Saturday, it's the Roosters and the Raiders at Central Coast Stadium at 7.30pm. Uh, ins and outs of the Roosters, so Victor Raleigh's obviously out because of suspension, and uh, Isaac Lee will replace him at lock. Angus, and it looks like Angus Crichton's escaped his suspension, so he saves in the back row, and that's the team for the Roosters, and other changes from what it looks like. And uh, for the Raiders, now the big news is that George Williams has been officially released by the Canberra Raiders. So George Williams has been released by the Raiders effective immediately. So he'll go back to England and Sam Williams will replace him at uh, halfback. And um, Sammy Valame is out. So replacing Sammy Valame is Rapana. And um, yeah, there's no other changes I can really see for Canberra. Apart from Josh Hogson being back replacing um, Brad Schneider off the bench. In this game, I reckon the Roosters will be a lot way too good for the Raiders. Surely the Roosters don't have another bad performance like they did against Broncos. So I will tip the Roosters to win 36 points to 4 over the Raiders. Now, Sunday footy kicks off at uh, Coffs Harbour. That's where the game's at, in Coffs Harbour. And the stadium's called Coffs International Stadium. And, uh, yes, game starts at 2pm. So the ins and outs of the Sharks uh, start with Josh Dugan's out. So replacing Josh Dugan in the centres. It's Jesse Ramian, who's back from... Uh, injury, I'm pretty sure. Um, and uh, Moeni Harodi's out, so replacing Moeni Harodi because he's suspended. It is uh, Renato Molotalo. And uh, Teague Wilton's out for suspension, so replacing him, I'm pretty sure it's Britton Nakore. And, um, uh, oh no, sorry, it's uh, Talakai, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it replaces him, yeah, Talakai. And, uh, yeah, that's a team right there for the Sharks. For the Titans, um... Well, David Fafita's back for the Gold Coast Titans. That's huge for them in the starting back row. And Sam, Sam uh, Stone's out of the team. And, and uh, yeah, that's the team for the Titans. No other changes apart from Fafita returning. Uh, look, in this game, I think Titans will be a lot a lot uh, too stronger for the Sharks. I think Sharks could definitely uh, win the game. But I think Titans with Fafita back. And I think Titans look better. They can score more points than the Sharks at this stage. So I will go Titans to win. Um, 20 points to 12 over the Sharks in a low-scoring game, sort of, but Titans should, should win in the end. And now, the last game of the end, round 12, it's the Knights and the Sea Eagles at uh, McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle, and the game starts at 4pm. Uh, ins and outs for Newcastle. Callum Ponk's back for the Knights, which is big for them, so he goes to fullback. And uh, Blake Green's out, so replacing Blake Green in the halves. It's Kurt Mann, and Bradman Best comes in the centres. He's back from injury, and no other changes really there for Newcastle. Um, for the Seagulls, um, this week, uh, Hamale Olakawadu is out because of concussion. So, replacing Hamale Olakawadu in the back row, it's Carl Lawton, who did a good job there last week against Parramatta. And Sean Kepi will also start in the back row with Josh Schuster, uh, remaining at 5'8". And, uh, Curtis Sirenen makes a long way to turn off the bench for Manly, so Sirenen's back for Manly off the bench. Uh, in this game, Manly should be way too strong for the uh, Knights, and I think we'll win 30 points to 16 on Sunday. But guys, that's my tips for the round 12, in, or Indigenous round, I should say. Uh, let me know your tips in the comment section down below, and uh, we'll catch you in another video, so see you then.